Hello my flock, Bad Raven here, and we're going to do a review today of the movie Tomb Raider. Now Tomb Raider has been made into a movie before, and I think a lot of you know it made, uh, they made a sequel to uh, Tomb Raider. Uh, it was um, Angelina Jolie as the, the Tomb Raider herself, Laura Croft. And these are set on, are based on a video game. And then you get, you get in trouble right there when you say based on a video game. Because most video game movies suck or are not that well made. <laughs> so I was kind of apprehensive when I went and watched this. I went and watched it with my niece Chloe. She uh, wanted to see it because I don't know if she knows about the video game. My son knows about the video game. But I don't know if either one of them plays it on any kind of regular basis. So they didn't really, you know, I mean, my son Andrew just didn't even want to go see it. So he, <laughs> he didn't even go watch it. But... I was expecting maybe a Raiders of the Lost Ark type of, uh, type of movie because in the scenes in the trailer, and this is going to be a spoiler free review, so if you want to go out and watch this, uh, you can. But I was expecting more of a Raiders of the Lost Ark type storyline because it showed in the trailer that she was solving some puzzles and stuff about the uh, gate of the tomb. So I, I, I felt like that was what I was going to go into. Now, when you make a movie, especially like Tomb Raider, I mean, in my opinion, you need a very charismatic star. The woman that played Laura Craft in this is Alicia Fikender. I think that's how you may pronounce her name. She plays Laura Craft. And I'll just go through the cast, I guess, real quick. Dominic West was uh, Lord Richard. Croft. I remember him from the, the movie 300. He was kind of the weasel guy in that that, that was supposed to uh, help Leonidas, but that's another movie, uh, movie altogether. Walton Goggins is the the bad guy in this man playing Mathis Vogel. And then you got Daniel Wu uh, is he plays Lou Ren. Uh, he's he owns a boat that she uh, rents out, I guess you could say, to to uh, get to the island. And Kristen Scott Thomas is Anna Miller. Now, like I said, you need a really charismatic actor or actress to play the part of a, of an Indiana Jones type character like Laura Craft is. That's what I interpret her as. Now, you may interpret her as different than uh, Indiana Jones. As using that type of scale to to, talk, uh, to think about a person that is going to be like able to do all these different types of stunts and, and stuff that in, that entails with this uh, movie, it's going to be hard for an actor or an actress to uh, pull it off. This lady, Alicia, she's got the part. I mean, she looks the part. Um, she's total bad butt through the movie that I can tell she's not afraid of anything it seems to be because she's just one woman and she definitely takes on a whole um, group group of Trinity it's called but let me kind of lay the groundwork here because this is a spoiler free result uh, re, uh, review she has her father has been missing for like seven years uh, he you know, they're rich, they own um, uh, Laurel Craft Industries or whatever, and they're a multi-billionaire company, okay? She, it shows flashbacks to her time with him as a little girl. This is in the trailer too, so I'm not giving anything away. He's constantly on the move. He is not at home much. So he's constantly putting the two fingers together and kissing her on the head and saying goodbye, I'll be back. As soon as I can. We learn, and I don't think this is a spoiler, but we learn that he is uh, going off because the wife died, uh, Laura Craft's mother, and he is supposed to be so devastated by her death that he is looking for somehow to, to tap into the supernatural, I guess to contact his wife. In the meantime, he's, uh, he's found something in a, in a tomb called the Mother of Death. 
by accident. I mean, he's not physically found it. He's just heard about it. And there's this, this company called Trinity that is trying to find it because they want to use this mother of death, that whatever it touches, it kills, to uh, use it as a, as a weapon. Trinity does. It wants to use it as a weapon to, you know, fight wars with and all that. So he inadvertently found this mother of death when he was trying to find his wife in the supernatural and he wants to uh, make sure that they can't find the tomb. Well, he goes off seven years prior to this movie beginning, tries to do that, but he disappears, of course. She, um, and then in the meantime, Laura is basically on her own. She, she, she totally forgoes her billions and billions of dollars. I have no idea why. I don't know. It's because she thinks that uh, the company took him away or whatever because he left so frequently and never, you know, really uh, got back with her. So she has decided to live life, uh, the simple life, and be a bike messenger. It's just true, a bike messenger. So we get, you know, a lot of stuff with bike messenger. And she uh, shows her being like a, a boxer UFC type uh, uh, at the gym, you know, she's not really in the UFC, but she's got the same skills of boxing and punching and kicking. I guess it's showing the audience how bad butt she is and she can hold her own. So that's why she's on her own and she doesn't want to have anything to do with the company or the money. I think they finally, uh, the Anna Miller character gets up with her. She's like the overseas kind of like the secretary of the company she tries to get her to come back in because the company's going to be broken up and sold off because um, Mr. Kraft is, Croft has not been back so she is trying to get Laura to um, you know run the company or do something with it so it won't be broken up. Laura is given a puzzle piece because she's supposed to be great with puzzles and she finds a, uh, a key there and she ends up finding a recording, not while she's at the company, but when she checks it out, she finds a recording of her dad saying, basically, tear up all my stuff. Don't let uh, this uh, Mathis Vogel be able to get it because he'll be, over, be able to open the tomb with all the stuff I've got going on here. I don't want him to get it. So what she do? She makes sure she takes it with her when she goes to try to find her dad. Because she gets some uh, pictures and stuff of a vault that he took. And the ensuing uh, move, part of the movie, she goes to find the boat. You, it's very long and boring in this part to me. What action it, they, they do show, they kind of stay faithful to the video game, which I was telling Andrew later. The one first swinging back and forth and constantly jumping and climbing and doing all this stuff. She's a very athletic woman. But it was no, I didn't care about the character. I didn't care about her. I felt bad for her that her dad had seemed to care more for the wife, which, you know, I know you would care more for the wife, but you have a spitting image of her as a daughter. I was telling my niece, you got a spitting image of his wife there with him. She had the baby. She had Laura. He should have spent time with her. I know he's a billionaire. He can do anything what she can be raised by. You know anybody else that he pays the razor but he goes off and spends the rest of his time trying to get in contact with her through death and he's got her daughter there and she totally ignores her so it's hard to me to have pity for him i know she may have had pity for him because that's her father and she wants to find out why uh all this stuff is going on but for me that was a killer for the given a hoot of what was going on with the story and like I said it, it's boring there's some action scene there she's getting pickpocketed or something there where they tried to pick a pocket her in, in, in China or Japan or wherever it is she tries to find the boat that uh, Lou Ren is in control of and it just does nothing for me it just everything leads up to the tomb you know you're going to be a movie like tomb raider you're going to be going to a tomb so it leads up to the tomb but the tomb is not in there until like the last 30 minutes and it's very action-packed in that part but i had no invested uh feelings in her or the mission or anything else i was constantly looking at uh my phone or not really during the movie but just kind of seeing what time it is but i was wanting out of there because it was so long 
The movie was approximately an hour and 58 minutes. Two minutes being two hours. Way too long. They should have tightened it up or something. Got a more, uh, a better story. Cause, and maybe what the video game was true to, but it, the story wasn't anything I cared about. I can't really recommend it. It, it was just not a very good movie. I just, I didn't hate it, but it just wasn't, it was just nah, you know, just nothing. It just wasn't anything I was remotely thinking it was going to be. And it was because of the story. The story really hurt. This, the lady that plays Laura Craft, she could have pulled it off any day because she's very muscular, very, seemed to be a good actress. She just didn't have much to work with. So I can't really recommend it. I, I mean, if you want to watch it on random Redbox when it comes out, that'd be the safest bet from what I would think to do. Uh, leave a comment of if you went and watched it and what you thought of it. What am I missing? What am I not getting right here? I was in the mood for action and I just did not receive it. There was action in it. I'm just saying action is action, but you, you gotta care. You gotta care about the, the characters. It's just it, I didn't care about it. But tell me what you thought. Tell me why you liked it or disliked it. If I'm right or wrong, and I would really appreciate it uh, if you would. Uh, also in the link uh, of the description below, uh, I put my Patreon account uh, link in case you want to become one of the elite bad birds. We're still trying to look for that elusive first bad uh, elite bad bird to put in the, uh, to have their name posted at the end of the video. So be one of the first to be uh, an elite bad bird and I will definitely put your name and say your name on all my videos from then on. And it's just a dollar a month and we would really appreciate it here on the Bad Raven channel. Just remember that the, always remember that the, the Bad Raven is your friend and we, we want you to go watch good movies and we're looking out for it, you to be able to see them. We we're going to let you go, and we just want to say support the Bad Raven. Please support the Bad Raven. We need your help. So thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you later.